Have you ever pondered over the magnitude of Napoleon Bonaparte's legacy? How one man's ambition changed the world? Picture a time when Europe was in turmoil. The French Revolution had just swept away the old order, and in stepped a man, a man of ambition, a man of vision, Napoleon Bonaparte. Now, Napoleon was no ordinary man. He was a man of contradictions, a man who is both lauded as a genius and reviled as a tyrant. He was a man who shaped the course of history in ways that still reverberate to this day. Yet, despite his indelible mark on history, his legacy remains a subject of intense debate among historians, scholars, and enthusiasts alike. Some see him as a hero, a champion of the people, a man who spread the ideals of the French Revolution across Europe. They laud his military genius, his administrative reforms, and his role in spreading civil liberties. They see him as a man who, despite his flaws, left a lasting and positive impact on the world. Others, however, view him in a less favorable light. They see him as a dictator, a man who seized power for his own ends, a man who led France and much of Europe into a series of devastating wars. They point to his ruthlessness, his lust for power, and his disregard for the cost of his actions. Yet, whatever one's view of Napoleon, one cannot deny his impact. His influence can be seen in everything from the legal systems of many countries to the very map of Europe. His military strategies are still studied in military academies, his administrative reforms are still in place in France, and his influence on art, culture, and politics continues to be felt. So, what is the truth? Was Napoleon a hero or a villain, a liberator or a despot, a genius or a madman? The answer, as with so many things in history, is not clear-cut. It is a complex tapestry of facts, interpretations, and perspectives. So, let us delve into the life of this extraordinary man, Napoleon Bonaparte. Let us explore his rise to power, his rule, his fall, and his enduring legacy. Let us unravel the enigma that is Napoleon Bonaparte. Born in Corsica in 1769, Napoleon Bonaparte's journey to power was anything but ordinary. It began, as many great stories do, in the throes of adversity. Born into a family of minor Corsican nobility, young Napoleon was a foreigner in his own land, an outsider in the French-controlled island. He grew up amidst the tumultuous times of the French Revolution, a chaotic period that would shape his future in ways unimaginable. At the tender age of nine, Napoleon was sent to mainland France for education. The young boy from Corsica found himself in an elite military academy in Brienne-le-Chateau. Despite the language barrier and the cultural shock, Napoleon excelled in his studies, particularly in mathematics, history, and geography. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable, and it was here that the seeds of his strategic genius were sown. Upon graduation, Napoleon entered the French army as a second lieutenant. His military career began in earnest, and it was not long before his strategic brilliance began to shine through. He displayed an uncanny ability to analyze and predict his enemy's movements, often outmaneuvering them with his innovative tactics. His passion for studying historical battles and his understanding of geography gave him an edge, making him a formidable opponent on the battlefield. His first taste of significant command came during the Siege of Toulon in 1793, where he led the artillery against the British forces. His plan was audacious, his tactics innovative, and his leadership inspiring. The successful siege marked a turning point in his career, catapulting him into the limelight. Napoleon's rise was meteoric, his ambition unbounded. He was a man driven by a relentless desire to create a new order, to reshape the world in his image. His strategic brilliance and military prowess, combined with his political acumen, set him on a path to power. Napoleon was quickly making a mark, his ambition and strategy pushing him forward. His story is a testament to the power of ambition, the importance of strategy, and the indomitable spirit of a man who dared to dream big. Ambition is a potent fuel, and Napoleon had it in spades. Napoleon Bonaparte, a name that resonates through the annals of history, was not just a military genius but an exceedingly ambitious leader. His ambition was not a mere thirst for power, but a desire to etch his name into the bedrock of history. 
Napoleon's ambition was not limited to military victories. He saw France riddled with chaos and disorder in the aftermath of the French Revolution and envisioned a nation of law and order. He set about making this vision a reality, and in 1804, Napoleon Bonaparte, the ambitious leader, became Napoleon I, Emperor of the French. But it wasn't just about personal power for Napoleon. He had a grander vision. He saw Europe united under his rule, a continent transformed by his ideas and principles. He worked tirelessly towards this goal, creating an empire that, at its peak, included much of continental Europe. Yet ambition, like fire, can be both a driving force and a destructive one. Napoleon's relentless pursuit of power led to his eventual downfall at Waterloo. But despite this, he left an indelible mark on history. His Napoleonic Code, a legal framework that he implemented, is still in effect in various forms across the globe today. His ambition, his drive for power, his vision for France and Europe, it all made Napoleon Bonaparte the enigmatic figure that he is today. His legacy is a testament to the power of ambition, a reminder of what one man can achieve when fueled by a desire for greatness. His ambition was not just for power, but to change France, and indeed the world. Napoleon's leadership was not just about authority, but strategy and innovation. Often regarded as a military genius, Napoleon Bonaparte's leadership style was a unique blend of authority, strategy, and innovation. His approach was one of direct involvement, often leading from the front, and his strategic prowess was second to none. He was known for his ability to adapt quickly to changing circumstances, a quality that made him an exceptional leader on the battlefield and beyond. Napoleon's military strategies were innovative and revolutionary. He pioneered the use of the core system, which allowed for quicker, more flexible responses during battles. Each corps was a self-contained unit with its own infantry, cavalry and artillery, enabling it to operate independently if needed. This strategic innovation gave Napoleon's armies a distinct advantage, allowing them to respond quickly to changes on the battlefield and outmaneuver their opponents. But Napoleon's leadership extended beyond the battlefield. He also introduced a series of reforms that transformed France. The Napoleonic Code, a comprehensive set of laws, replaced the patchwork of legal systems across the country establishing a uniform legal framework that is still in place today. He also reformed education, creating a national system of public schools, and modernized the French economy. Napoleon's leadership style was marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence. He demanded the best from his troops, his ministers, and himself. His attention to detail was legendary, and he was known to work tirelessly, often into the early hours of the morning, to ensure that everything was in order. Yet, despite his authoritarian style, Napoleon was also a master of motivation. He understood the importance of morale and often went out of his way to inspire his troops. He would walk the lines before a battle, encouraging his men and acknowledging their sacrifices. This personal touch, combined with his strategic genius, made him a revered leader. His leadership and strategy were truly unparalleled, leaving a lasting impact on France and beyond. Napoleon's legacy as a leader and strategist is a testament to his unique blend of authority, strategy, and innovation. His reforms transformed France and his military strategies continue to be studied and admired to this day. Napoleon's rule ended, but his legacy lived on reverberating through the annals of history. As we delve into the vast sea of time, we find that Napoleon Bonaparte's influence extends far beyond his reign. His legacy is like a ripple in a pond, touching every corner of the globe affecting the course of nations and the lives of people. Bonaparte's influence on French politics was profound. His reign saw the establishment of a strong centralized government, a concept that continues to shape French politics to this day. He streamlined the administrative processes, introduced the Napoleonic Code, a comprehensive set of civil laws that served as a model for many modern legal systems. This code emphasized equality before the law and secured French citizens the rights to property and freedom of religion. On a global scale, Napoleon's conquests sparked a wave of nationalism throughout Europe. The nations he subdued began to identify themselves in opposition to the French rule, 
leading to the rise of nationalistic sentiments that would later shape the world's political landscape. Bonaparte's impact on military strategy is equally significant. His innovative tactics, such as the use of mass conscription, the creation of the Grande Armée and the Corps system, revolutionized warfare. His strategies are still studied in military academies around the world, a testament to their enduring relevance. However, Napoleon's legacy is not without its dark shadows. His ambition led him to wage devastating wars, causing immense suffering and loss. His reign ended in defeat and exile, a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and ambition. But as we sift through the sands of time, we find Napoleon's legacy embedded in the fabric of our world. His influence on law, government and warfare has left an indelible mark that continues to shape our societies. His life serves as a cautionary tale of ambition and power, and a source of inspiration for strategic brilliance. Napoleon Bonaparte, a man whose legacy continues to shape our world. But what if Napoleon had never risen to power? How different would our world be? Let's take a moment to delve into this intriguing alternate reality. Imagine France, the late 18th century, without the ambitious Corsican general. The French Revolution has just upturned the old order and the nation is in turmoil. Without Napoleon, who would have filled that power vacuum? Would the reign of terror have lasted longer, its guillotine claiming even more victims? Or perhaps the Bourbon monarchy could have managed to reclaim their lost throne, restoring the royalist rule? Now, let's consider the geopolitical landscape of Europe. Without the Napoleonic Wars, the balance of power would have been drastically different. The Holy Roman Empire might have endured, altering the course of German history significantly. Without Napoleon's continental system, the British might not have become the dominant world power they did in the 19th century. And what about the spread of civil liberties? Napoleon's civil code, also known as the Napoleonic Code, was a revolutionary legal framework that granted citizens certain rights and freedoms. It was exported to many parts of Europe and the world. Without Napoleon, would these ideas have spread as widely and as quickly? We can't forget the impact on the arts and culture either. The Napoleonic era inspired a wealth of literature, music, and visual arts, with its influence still seen in works today. Without Napoleon, we might not have the same cultural richness that we enjoy. Of course, these are all hypothetical scenarios. History is a complex web of interconnected events and individuals, and removing one thread can unravel the entire tapestry in unpredictable ways. But it's fascinating to consider how one man's rise to power could have such far-reaching effects. So, imagine a world without Napoleon Bonaparte. How different do you think it would be? Write your thoughts in the comment section below.